Hi and welcome to Movie Monday. Today we're making the hazelnut soup from Tangle. And it's gonna be vegan because we're making it with hazelnut milk. So let's get started. I brought back parsnips. I'm going to make hazelnut soup for dinner. Your favorite. She says she's gonna make hazelnut soup. So we know there's gonna be hazelnuts. And she brought back parsnips. So that's what we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making a parsnip soup. I've tried this recipe before and today we're giving it the twist of the hazelnut. But the soup that I like to make is with parsnips and apples. And I think that's the one that's gonna be the best option here because we're gonna make it creamier with some potatoes and the apples are gonna give it some sweetness that I think it's gonna be really nice with the hazelnut. So yeah, let's start cutting and preparing things. So there's two options on how to make it. They're both really simple, but one is maybe more practical than the other. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna take the parsnips and the apples and I'm gonna roast them in the oven. That's just so they get more flavor out and I personally like to do this specific soup like this. But if not, you can make everything straight in the pot. I'm gonna be telling you while we do it. We're gonna cut and peel the parsnips. If you don't mind, you can totally leave the peel on, but I just prefer it like this. And same with the apples, you can leave the skin on or just remove it. And then parsnips have this central part that is usually really hard, then I prefer to take it out. I think what I'm gonna do is keep the hard part and save them so I can use them when I make broth. If you wanna see how I make my super easy veggie broth, you can go check it out up here. And now let's peel and cut the apples. I'm gonna start with one, but I'm probably gonna be making two. If you're new here, I'm basically doing this every Monday, it's a new series, so as long as I can keep it up, there's gonna be a new episode every Monday. And I'm letting you pick the movie that you wanna see next on Instagram, so you can follow me on Instagram. Here we have our apple and our parsnip. So in this step, if you don't want to put it in the oven, just save it aside and I'm gonna tell you when you can incorporate it. Oil and some salt and I'm gonna put it in the oven. And also, as you can see, the, the apple is mixed with the parsnip. I didn't put one thing and the other. And to the oven. I put it at 180 and I'm gonna leave it for 15, 20 minutes. I think that's gonna be enough. Another thing we wanna put in the oven because we wanna roast it is our hazelnuts. I have a quarter cup of hazelnuts here and I'm gonna keep some like full and then some of them I'm just gonna mash them a little bit. Ah, disaster. And I'm also gonna put them in the oven for these 15 minutes, maybe 10, I'm gonna check. It's also 180 because I'm also cooking the parsnip as you've seen. While that's on the oven, we're gonna cut our garlic and our onion. We're making soup here, so don't worry if it's not perfectly cut, we're gonna blend it anyway. And I'm using a lot of garlic because I love garlic, but yeah, feel free to use less. It's been 10 minutes, but the hazelnuts look perfect to me, so I just took them out and I'm gonna save them. And now let's move to the pot and we're gonna start frying this. And I'm gonna cut the potato so we have it ready to go in. I'm using two small ones. Again, I forgot to tell you, but the ingredients of the recipe are gonna be down in the description as always, because I think that's easier for everyone. Our parsnip and apple are ready. Some of the apple is starting to be shiny because the sugar is coming out and that's really nice. So I'm gonna add this to our onion. And if you want, instead of adding the parsnip and the apple pre-baked in the oven, you just add them raw. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of ground pepper and some thyme. And I'm also gonna add the potatoes. I'm gonna use some veggie broth, so I'll put it and mix it with warm water. And we're gonna add it. I added four cups of broth. You just need to add enough so that it covers the whole mix of veggies. And now we're gonna cover it and let it cook for about half an hour. And I'll see you when it's ready. And then when we blend it is when we're gonna add our hazelnut milk, because I don't want this to boil with everything. I prefer to add it later. I stopped it, this is how it looks. And now, first of all, we're gonna blend it. 
And now is when we're gonna add our hazelnut milk and I'm using unsweetened one because I feel like the apple is already sweet enough. That's gonna help the soup be creamier too. So we're gonna add some milk. And the most important thing is that I'm gonna try it to see if I can add more hazelnut milk or if it needs more salt or something. Always try what you make, please, while you're making it, not at the end, because then it's already done. Mm. I'm gonna add more hazelnut milk. Here's the soup and let's serve it. We have our roasted hazelnuts that we're gonna put and hopefully they're gonna stay in top. I'm gonna try it now with like the hazelnut and everything. Look at the texture, like look at, at the creaminess. The toasted hazelnuts on top are really, really, really good. It kind of balances the sweetness of the apple. Totally recommend this one. And with that said, give a like to the video because that really helps the channel and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And remember to follow me on Instagram because I'm making polls so you can vote which movie you want to see next. And I already said it during the video, but next week we're going to have the apple strudel that Queenie makes in Fantastic Beasts. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you in the next one. Tangled? Tangled. Enredados. Superflopped. What the fuck? Yes. And I'm using an hazelnut. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>